All right, first one, guys. Please. Oh! Oh! Hey, what's up, everyone? Vortex here, and welcome back to Vortex Raid Shadow Legends. Guys, in today's episode, we're gonna talk about some upcoming changes in the game they will happen with the next patch i think but also we're gonna pull some shards uh, because today we have a double chance from primal shards for mythical so yeah it's gonna be an interesting episode <laughs> i only have seven shards so we'll see we'll see uh, i'm not have i don't have any hopes <laughs> to pull anything good but who knows you know maybe if the the gods of the RNG from uh, Plarium will listen to me. Hopefully, you know, maybe that uh, content creator luck that people are talking about, maybe it will it will drop on me and I will be able to pull some uh, something good. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's go to the video. All right, guys. So let's first pull some shards. OK, I think this is the best way to start this video in terms of mythicals. I mean, at this point, any mythical will be great, right? <laughs> I don't really care. Even uh, a second Lady Mikage will still be nice. I can empower this one or maybe make another one or uh, whatever, you know. Um, but if I'm lucky, which I hope, I would like to pull this guy. I have a five star soul for him. So you know i wouldn't mind maybe this two as well because i have a one star but this one have a i have a five star so you know <laughs> it would be great if i could pull him but again i have no expectations i don't think i'm that lucky i'm not sure where i stand with um, the mercy system let's see primers plus 10 percent chance increase per shard 10 percent it's quite a lot after 200 summons, I don't think I've ever pulled 200 summons, right? No, I don't think I've ever, I had 200 shards of this one. So, ah, man, I don't know. Chances for me to pull any mythical is really low. But again, <laughs> we're, do it. we're gonna do it. I had a couple of shards. I had to buy some more, you know, <laughs> just for the sake of the content. I don't really like to spend money uh, on shards. Uh, and the reason is if I... Uh, have a bunch of shards like let's say these 22 ancient shards or these five sacred uh, all these shards are coming from uh, playing the game right from content from especially from a, a clan boss or uh, some events or or something like that uh, some tournaments as well so if i pull these shards and i don't get anything i'm okay with that you know it's just part of the game but if i spend money <laughs> on shards and i don't get anything it's really pissing me off uh, because I really don't want to uh, pull a bunch of rares that I'm gonna use as food for all the champions. So, uh, but I bought a, a couple of shards now just for you, just to to see how it works, you know. Uh, anyway, let's start pulling these shards. I wish I had a little bit more uh, primal shards here, uh, quartz, so I can get another one. But whatever. All right, first one, guys. Please. Oh, oh! Are you? fucking serious <laughs> holy shit oh my god gizmog the terrible man who is this oh man Ooh. thank you plarium thank you oh man i think the content creator luck guys it's actually working <laughs> oh man Gizmark the Terrible. Ah, I don't know this guy. I have no idea who he is. HP burns, I see. Okay, actually, let's take a look at this guy. So what he does. All right. Uh, on his A1, attacks one enemy. Increases the duration of any HP burn debuffs on the target by one turn. If the target is not under HP burn debuff, decreases the duration of two random buffs on that enemy by one turn instead. These effects cannot be resisted if this attack is critical. So he's increasing all the uh, HP burn. And if the target is not under an HP burn, decrease the duration of uh, two random buffs on that enemy for one turn instead. All right. Then attacks all enemies not under HP burn debuffs, except the initial target. Decrease the duration of two random buffs on all enemies by one hit. Enemies hit by one turn. This effect cannot be resisted if this attack is critical. All right. A2. Attacks all enemies. Before attacking, increases the duration of all HP burn debuffs on all enemies by one turn. Then instantly activates any HP burn 
uh, debuffs on each enemy. This effect cannot be resisted uh, if uh, this champion's crit rate is 100% or higher. Finally, increase the duration of all debuffs on all enemies by one turn and places a 30% decreased speed debuff on all enemies by, for two turns. These effects cannot be resisted. Man, all his effects are, cannot be resisted if uh, he goes crit critical, right? Which means I'm gonna have to build this guy just for to be sure with at least 105% uh, crit rate. Oh man, okay. So, all right, le uh, le <laughs> I'm so excited because I I'm losing track of what I'm uh, doing here. So he's increasing the duration of HP burn He's attacking all enemies, he's increased the duration, uh, and then activates the HP burn, right? Okay, and then he increased the duration of all debuffs on all enemies by one turn and places a 30% decrease speed on uh, on the enemies for two turns. All right, A3, places a 30% increased damage, increased rate, and increased speed on all allies for three turns, and then grants an extra turn. Holy! So you don't have to build him with a hundred percent crit rate, okay? You can build him with uh, eighty percent, seventy-five, and he's buffing himself. I mean, he's buffing everyone with crit rate. Oh my God! Holy shit, this dude! Okay, passive. Before the starts of the the start of this champion's turn, places an HP burn on all enemies for two turns. Okay, so you don't ah, so he's placing the HP burn on his passive. Because I was thinking, where is the HP burn on any of these skills? So he's placing the HP burn on all enemies for two turns, once per round, and it cannot be resisted if uh, the crit rate is 100% or higher. Also, before the start of this champion's turn, has a 50% chance of placing an HP burn debuff on all enemies for one turn. This effect cannot be resisted, okay. So uh, he's placing the HP burn for two turns, nice, and then, uh, before the start of this has a wait wait so he's placing hp burn twice what i, I don't understand so it's the same this it's the same skill i don't get it i don't understand this uh, this one <laughs> uh, we're gonna find out eventually okay uh, what's this ah okay so let's uh, look the other form now uh, let's see oh man look how look at this dude oh man all green tribes man i'm gonna build the shit out of this guy a lot of accuracy for sure a crit rate he doesn't need um I mean, actually, you still want him with 100%, right? Because uh, if your skill is uh, on cooldown, maybe you got blocked or maybe under stun or something like that, you're gonna lose your turn. Maybe you want, uh, or maybe under true fear, actually. True fear will uh, take away your skill, so then you won't be able to uh, put the crit rate. So I think it's safe to go for this guy with 100% uh, crit rate. Anyway, let's see uh, this form. So, on his A1, attacks one enemy, if this champion's HP or the initial target's HP is equal to 2 or lower than 50%, attacks all enemies instead. Increase the duration of two random debuffs on the target by one turn. If attacking all enemies, increases the duration of two random debuffs on all enemies by one turn instead. This effect cannot be resisted. Okay, uh, yeah, so everything is about... Um, crit rate on this guy okay so according to this one so if the champion's hp or of the or the initial targets hp it's equal to or lower than 50 percent attacks all enemies all right this is i don't really like this uh, conditional uh, skills but whatever okay uh, a2 attacks all enemies before attacking places a 60 percent decrease defense debuff on all enemies for two turns this debuff cannot be resisted if the target is under hp burn debuff Places an extra hit on enemies under HP deb burn debuffs. Grant an extra turn if this attack kills an enemy. Man. A3. Places a pain link. Ooh, this one is... Oh, wait. Ooh, ooh, man, this skill. Look. All right. Places a pain link debuff on a target enemy for two turns. This debuff cannot be removed, resisted, or blocked. All right. When calculating the damage inflicted by the pain link... 75% uh, of the attacker's skill multiplier is reflected. The damage inflicted by the painting debuff will ignore 100% of the target's defense. Also places a taunt buff and an unkillable buff on this champion for two turns. Finally, places a 50% ally protection buff on all allies except this champion for two turns. Holy shit, this skill. Okay, so what this uh, painting does? I'm, uh, I'm curious because this is a new one. I think Hydra it uses this skill. 
So I'm not exactly sure what this does. Okay, the Painting Debuff causes the affected champion to receive a percentage of all damage received by the enemy who placed this debuff. The enemy receives 100% uh, of the damage inflicted to them. Okay, the amount of damage received dep depends on the enemy who placed the debuff. If he was head of... Oh, okay, so here is talking about... Um, of, about the uh, hydras right uh the painting debuff can uh, can be blocked or removed and can have uh, its duration increased or decreased this is a this is a weird champion guys uh so he's placing unkillable taunt ally protection obviously i i believe he's really great in uh in a lot of content actually <laughs> oh man hydra hydra is gonna be so much easy to fight now all the hp burst okay uh, passive will ignore 50 percent 15 percent of the target's defense if this champion's HP or the target HP is equal to or greater than 50%, if this champion's HP or the target's HP is less than 50%, will ignore 25% of the target's defense instead. Will also ignore block damage, shield, when attacking enemies under HP uh, burn debuffs, inflicts 20% more damage to enemies un not, not under HP burn debuff. Oh man, this dude. Do I have a soul for him? I don't think I do. No, I have a soul for this guy. All right. All right, guys. <laughs> Man, I'm so excited. I'm going to have to build this guy and then uh, have a video about him. First pull, a mythical. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh my God. All right. What are the chances with six shards to get another one? Please, RNG gods, please. Listen to me. Let me put one more. One more. Oh, just, just one. What? Just one. <laughs> All right. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. One more. One more. Uh, of course. A rare. It's okay. All right. All right. You know what? Actually, at this point, even a legendary, especially a Gnat or Gnut, okay? It would be amazing at this point. Yeah. Come on. One more mythical. An epic. Ooh, who is this guy? Pestilus? I don't have this guy. Who is this guy? He's a new one? Oh, was he part of the... For the fusion of Wixwell? Maybe. I haven't seen this guy so far. Man, look at him. Look how beautiful he stands here at the top of the uh, champions here. Okay. Uh, I want to check this guy because he's new and I have no idea who he is. All right. He's a support epic. A lot of HP attack not enough attack a lot of defense 94 speed mm. so he must be a, a de wait damage based on attack and his attack is lower than the defense all right so attacks uh, two times to random has a 30 percent chance of placing a lich debuff for two turns okay not a bad skill attacks one enemy has a 50 percent chance of placing an hp burn for two turns heals all allies by 15 percent of their max hp if the HP burn debuff is placed and fills their turn meter by 15%. If it's not, if the debuff, uh, the HP burn debuff is not placed, it's filling the turn meter. All right. On his A3, places a 50% increased accuracy and a crit damage on all allies for two turns. On a three turn cooldown, and this one has a three turn cooldown as well. Accuracy in a Doom Tower battle by 50. All right. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's okay. A new champion. So, okay. Four more shards, guys. Four more. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, please, come on, please, no. All right, whatever, whatever, whatever. <laughs> I I can't be mad. I pulled the mythical. I'm, I'm not gonna be mad. I'm actually really happy. Okay, two more shards, another rare, another rare. Okay, that's fine. And I suppose another rare as well, right? Another epic, rear guard sergeant. Yeah, I know she's uh, she's not that great. Anyway, guys, oh, we have a lot of points here. What the uh, anniversary deck of fate? Okay, so, uh, okay, let's go into the news now because uh, this was part of the video. So we have this, uh, first of all, man, I'm so excited. Holy shit, I'm so excited. <laughs> all right, um, let's uh, go for, um, what? what is it? What, what, what am I doing? <laughs> I lost control of what I'm doing. Okay, so this is the uh, 15th anniversary uh, packs, okay, uh, gifts. Uh, today we got one primal, 300 energy, two of uh, 50 turns and 300 um, coins. Tomorrow I'm going to get a book, a mythical skill tome, which is going to go straight away into this new guy. Okay, <laughs> there's no doubts about that. 
we get more energy and more turns and on day three we get an immortal soul stone some energy so it's not a bad um, gift you know it could be worse <laughs> That's for sure. Also, uh, we have this anniversary deck of fate. We have 6,300 points because we summoned champions. Let's see what are the rewards for this one. Uh, a lot of banners, 25% uh, chance to change crit hit uh, into normal when attacked before first turn. Are all of them like that, right? Yeah, okay. So what else we get? Some uh, epic books, some gems. A five star chicken some legendary books some bruce okay so this is uh, when uh, flipping the cards right and what about completing so the green one gives us some gems uh some mortal soul stone an epic book okay a blue one will give us uh an immortal soul stone a legendary man this one this would be great imagine if i could pull one of this eternal soul stone and uh, a mythical skill tome all right so let's see it's a thousand points for uh, to flip one card can we get a pink one no all right we have one come on one more no <laughs> and last one all right so we got uh, some bruise three of these banners uh and two of these all right so it's get artifacts and summon champions all right i was thinking maybe i should pull some uh some of these shards but there's nothing here so i'm gonna save my shards these uh, sacreds here and the ancients they are reserved specifically for uh gnut okay i'm not gonna use it for any other champion that i see in the game it doesn't matter how many chances you get how uh, crazy they go with that one unless he's not in the mix so i can pull him i'm not gonna use him anyway because i really want that dude but to be honest now that i got this guy man oh actually wait i do have a, let's upgrade him straight away uh let's level him up I, I i meant i think i had wait i had the barrel at some point right did i use my barrel on someone else Fuck's sake <laughs> all right uh, we're gonna have to, to do a little bit of work to gather some of these um, <laughs> potions, okay? But anyway, let's uh, level him up. All the way, please. All the way, I don't care, just use whatever I have, everything I have. Take him to 60 straight away. Nice. The good part about Mythical, guys, is that you don't have to upgrade his rank, you know? Well, ah, the book is tomorrow, I'm gonna get the book. Okay, I was thinking, I think, oh, yeah. Where do I want to put? I think I'm going to put the book in, uh, in his uh, first form, right? I think his first form is really strong. Yeah, let's uh, send him uh, one star. I'm going to work uh, on some potions and I'm going to try to to uh, ascend him to six straight away. I have 10 mortal soul stones, right? Do you think is there a chance I can pull uh, souls for him? I don't think so. Uh, one thing I know for sure is that on my wish list. Oh, wait. Can I put mythicals on the wish list? Oh, Plarium, come on. Fuck. <laughs> okay. All right. Whatever. Uh, so, on the Discord page, uh, there are some news. Obviously, the 15th anniversary, uh, they talk about this. Okay. That's absolutely fine. And then there are some news about um, Sand Devil, Phantom Shogun and the twins fortress right so basically they intend to change these ones and make them easier for players to win so i'm not sure exactly what they intend to do about these dungeons about the iron twins sand devil and phantom uh, maybe they will nerf the bosses you know so they get more damage or do less damage i'm not sure i'm not sure they don't say anything about it and also this one just came right now uh, actually like 20 minutes ago some new uh information from them all right so let's um i'm gonna put the an image on the screen for you guys uh to see while i'm reading all this stuff right okay hey raiders time has quickly passed uh time has quickly passed by and we are getting closer to the update 8.60 uh, which is planned for next week okay so it's next week they will deal with uh, the sand devil the phantom and iron twins plus they are adding some new stuff right 
uh, okay, uh, plan for next week if everything goes well. All right, so there is a little bit of <laughs> maybe or not. Okay, in today's raid digest, we will shed some light on new items, which will be added to the upcoming update. And as we are getting ready to celebrate Plarium's 15th anniversary, we would like to remind you that we have prepared anniversary gifts for you. Without further ado, let's delve into the raid digest. All right, so first one, it's free gear removal item. As you know, the upcoming update will bring a new type of reward, free gear removal item that uh, grants you 100% gear removal discount for one hour. And we would like to clarify a few details in this regard. Free gear removal items, which will be available as rewards for defeating the cursed city stages, will be an addition to the rewards this location already has. They won't substitute the existing rewards and they won't replace the existing uh, monthly free gear removal event. Okay. Free gear removal items won't be given, won't be given uh, retroactively. This means that if you have already conquered the stage that provides a free gear removal item before the update, then it won't be available for you during this rotation. All right. As a compensation for that, after the release, all the players will receive three and we'll have an opportunity to test them out. Ooh, that's great. Okay, so, okay, let's see, actually, when this um, uh, Car City rotation ends, one week and one day, so if everything goes well, the way they say, in one week, the Car City will end and the update will be done. Yeah, it kind of makes sense, right? Unless they are gonna be late with the update, so it will take them maybe two weeks. Uh, the Car City will, uh, reset in one week oh no it doesn't matter so regardless of whether you're doing these uh, stages or not you will still get the we will still get the three free uh, gear removal i don't think so i don't know <laughs> i'm not sure anyway now i don't have access to this information guys because unfortunately i'm not part of the <laughs> content creator uh, group for uh, ray shadow legends on their discord uh, you need to have you need to meet some criteria. You need to have at least a thousand subscribers, and I'm not sure how many views uh, for the videos in uh, one week. And it takes them like a couple of weeks to check everything what you're doing. So I don't have. Uh, I'm not uh, eligible to apply for them. But I've seen Ash doing a video about it, where basically they will introduce in the fitting room. They will introduce a bunch of um, uh, sets. So you can have like five or six sets for one champion that you can always swap. Let's say you want to have uh, some Wukong uh, in three different forms, okay? So maybe you want a set that is all about damage for some specific content in the game. Then you want another set that is uh, specific for um, accuracy. So you can uh, buff and debuff and all that stuff. And then one set that is like a hybrid, right? You can't have that at the moment because uh, what you're going to have to do, you have to go and look for uh, sets on other champions. You remove them, you put them on your Sun Wukong, then you forget where you took the pieces from what champions. Uh, so then you have to search for that champion who's missing what. But now with this upcoming, um, I think I'm not sure if this will be in the next update or maybe in a future one. But what they're going to do, they will allow you to save a bunch of um, presets uh for one champion or maybe more multiple champions and have different sets that you can sw uh, swap between them and uh maybe you want to try them maybe you, for me for example as a content creator i can look around for some of my best gear and whenever i make like a champion guy for about the champion i can just go take that uh, set and uh, use it on my champion you know and uh, so i can showcase like the most damage that the champion is doing or whatever you know so yeah this is uh, that's why we will get this uh, free uh, gear removal again i don't have access to that information because i'm not part of the content creator uh, team once uh, hopefully one day i will be part of it and uh, i will get access to this information beforehand and i will know before everyone else and i can make some videos about it at the moment i can only talk about it and look at what uh, the other content creators are doing and uh, discuss it and bring it on on my channel uh so yeah that was all the for today guys that's what i was that's what i wanted to talk about so before we go let's pull some of these mortal soul, uh, soul stones even though there's no event for this one i could probably wait for like um when there's like a double chance for like 
I don't know for a mythical or something. Uh, but it's okay. I would like to pull this one. So I'm I'm kind of curious to see if I can get anything. Maybe the, my luck will still be here, <laughs> you know. So let's uh, let's do it. Let's pull. All right, come on. Give me something nice. Something mythical. Maybe for this new guy, you know. A legendary. Holy. Sh oh man, Androk. Come on. I can't be mad. I can't be mad. Okay, so we got the Supreme Kale, six star soul, and one for Androk one star all right mausoleum mage i'm not sure. i think mine has already some stars no actually no it's a two star okay so it's a bit of improvement for my uh, mausoleum mage that's not bad at all oh man look at these souls here six star here five star here man i wish i would be lucky enough to pull a soul for this new dude <laughs> all right let's take another look at him before we leave guys we're gonna uh, hold him on my screen look at you you beautiful beast welcome to my team welcome to uh this amazing my content here you're gonna be I'm, i think this guy is gonna be part of a lot of my teams i can see the potential in this dude and how strong he can be i don't think i've been so happy uh playing right ray shadow legends in a very long time we've got this dude he's amazing soon i will have a video about him uh, we're gonna try him everywhere so tomorrow i'm gonna uh, make a video about him i'm gonna showcase him uh, we're gonna test him in dungeons uh, doom tower arena everywhere clan boss hydra everywhere guys uh, just uh, <laughs> keep an eye on my videos and uh, we're gonna talk about this guy and see how good he is if you guys enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye